Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Matt back, and in this video, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about DoorDash's referral program and things to watch out, so you don't so you don't get your account deactivated because I don't want that. And nobody wants that, especially if you're doing this full time. So, just to let you know, there have been a couple people on YouTube that have got, and I mean most likely people also that aren't on YouTube that have gotten their accounts deactivated for referral fraud and breaking terms and conditions of DoorDash referral program so I'll leave this and link in the description below so you can read it yourself but it says restrictions Re referrals should only be made to personal connections you may notify your friends and acquaintances about this program through your personal social media accounts but posting public notices or your unique link on job boards, blogs, websites, search engines, or other platforms accessible to the general public are not allowed. For your own safety, please do not post your registered phone number or any other personal data on any public websites or in any other public areas. Dashers may not provide referrals using multiple or fake email addresses, accounts with fictitious identities, or any system macro script bot or any other device to artifice to participate in the program or earn bonuses. Bulk email distribution, multiple referral messages sent to the same person, or other any other promotion in a manner that would con constitute or appear to constitute unsolicited commercial spam messages and DoorDash sole discretion is expressly prohibited and is grounds for immediate termination of the Dasher account, exclusion from the pro program, and revocation of all prior referral bonus. DoorDash may delay a referral bonus for purposes of investigation. We will reserve the right to revoke, revoke or refuse the issue to issue referral bonuses for any reason. An examples referral involved a referred Dasher whom we suspect to previously registered Dasher. So, basically what that's saying is that, just say you have a YouTube channel, it's not allowed to, you're not allowed to post your link in the description below and tell people to go sign up as a Dasher, just so you can get that referral bonus. Yes, is it technically an affiliate link? Yes, it kind of is, because you're getting, you know, some type of kickback for, you know, having people sign up if they you know do meet those requirements for that you know uh sign up bonus but that's the thing you gotta watch out for referring people that sh you know that you don't know what they're basically saying is that you're supposed to give people that you know family members friends your dash or you know referral code so they can sign up if they want to and then you know you both can make some type of money with it but don't put your referral code on any job boards youtube channels your own blog somebody else's blog anything like that because you can get if doordash finds out because they will eventually if they find out then you can get in trouble by getting your account deactivated and some people that i've watched i'll leave her link in the description below so you can check her video out she was uh deactivated twice she was at you know deactivated for referral fraud she tried to get a hold of them and this is a uh, like earlier this year or last year I meant and she got reactivated and then she got deactivated again in the description you check that out but just be careful if you want to refer people make sure you refer your friends and family and don't refer you know some rando or you know post your links on social media that you know is like that isn't yours basically you know what I mean so just be careful with that so you don't get your accounts deactivated because if you're doing this full-time you don't want to mess up with that I mean I understand that there's Grubhub there's Uber Eats Instacart you know Postmates and all these other delivery apps you know that you can do but if DoorDash is your main income you want to watch out for it and you know that that's just something that kind of worries me about why I possibly wouldn't want to do this full time. I mean, I'll do another video on that another day. But right now, I just thought I'd make this quick video on why I feel 
you know, I should get this out there about the referral program and how you should watch out for yourselves and not get deactivated by following their terms and conditions. That's why it's always good to read the fine print because it's actually, you know, really fine print, you know, and I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys could read it because it's not like, you know, it's kind of hidden. Like if you go to the uh, look up the Dasher or yeah, da DoorDash referral program, It'll go, if you read their referral program requirements, it'll give you that. And then down below, it'll say, read terms and conditions. And then you go down there, and it's really, really fine print. And then it's not, it doesn't tell you straight up what the requirements are and what, you know, the restrictions are. You have to go down kind of far. It's only a couple paragraphs down. And then you can read it from there. But... I, even though I just read it to you, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you that try to help you guys out so you guys don't get deactivated for you know referring people because you know I think it's kind of weird because you know that's just my opinion, but that's all I really got for you in this video. If you guys have any comments, leave them in the comments below and let's talk about this. Talk to you guys later. Peace.